Hi, we have a Radio Shack HTX10 here. This is a 10 meter radio back uh, in its time, which not uh, too far distance here when these were made. These were awesome radios. Uh, this is the perfect time to have this radio as the band opening on 10 meters is hot right now. Uh, this is an awesome radio. I went over it. I've made several QSOs. I'm going to show you uh, that. Uh, we're going to make a QSO here locally to show that it works. Um, the radio is on, as you can see. It's at 29.600. It's the FM calling frequency. Um, when I'm done describing the radio, we're going to give a shout out to somebody local here. And uh, let's do a little uh, close up. That's the uh, on off volume 5 pin microphone, which it does come with the stock microphone. Up down buttons. Microphone works fine. The cord is in nice shape. It's not uh, torn, ripped, or bent. Uh, we have the RF gain on the outside, and we got the mic gain on the inside. This is a push for function and fine tune clarifier. Here's your VFO, squelch, and the display, the S meter. Uh, shows noise, noise blanker here, what mode you are. Okay, with the function on, it's noise blanker on, off. Shift, so you can shift the frequency. Uh, uh, actually, shift is uh, so you can shift for repeater operation. I'm very sorry about that. It's been a long day. Memory save. And I think T low means tone low. I think it means tone low. I, I'd have to look it up to make sure. Without the uh, function, it's a step, so you can decide whether it's going to change the 6 to 7. The zero to one or the last digit zero one two three four five uh so you can fine tune the calling frequency let's press it there you go okay you have to program what calling frequency you want in there scan actually scans we're going to stop it okay last channel recall takes you right back to 600 where we were at the mode fm am up lower sideband Okay, and somebody was out there talking. And M load means memory load. So that's basically the uh, radio. It's in beautiful shape. It's a really, really nice shape. There's going to be more pictures on the auction so you can get a better idea how it looks. Okay, at the bottom. If you want to take a look at the back, there's the serial number. And there's the back of the radio. With the coax, the power, and the external speaker. Okay, so let's go ahead. Sorry, there's only one of me here. It's only one hand, so I'm having a hard time operating this. Uh, let's go out there and let's do a quick cue. So, Mike, you're being impatient. Okay, uh, we're videotaping this, Mike. I just want to show people that the radio is operating. The transmit light is on. As you can see, the SRF meter is actually uh, showing transmit. Mike, why don't you go ahead and reply. Let me know how this radio sounds. I hear you crystal clear. Sounded good. Good signal. Nice and clear audio. And uh, I hear you no problem. Mike is about, I'd say about four or five miles from me. And uh, I'm uh, using a uh, HF stick on the roof of the house. And uh, he's giving me about S5 flickering to S9. Hi, Mike. This is the FM portion here. Mike, you want to switch to 29.000? Let's do AM to show that it works on AM. 29.00 AM it is. We're clear. Okay, just to let you know, we've already given our call signs out just for uh, to pre preserve safety uh, on the video. So uh, we have identified. Okay, this is showing it. It's shifting the uh, center frequency right there. Let's go to 29. And that's he's definitely uh, he's definitely checking his SWR there. He's doing his antenna tuner. I might go ahead. Uh, we're on twenty nine dot zero 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 AM. Okay, I can hear you fine. You're still coming through nice and clear. Can you hear me okay? Hey, okay, perfectly fine. Here, why don't you uh, key up one more time? So show the S meter working. Okay. Audio test one two one two. Audio test. You give me S nine here. You give me S nine compared to the other. Uh, other frequency your uh, and your antenna must be resonating better here. Why don't we go to a twenty-eight dot five hundred and let's try sideband. Uh, let's try uh, let's try sideband. Why don't you go there and we'll show the people here in video land that it works on sideband. Okay, USB, right? Yeah, let's do 20, 28.500 upper sideband. 
Um, let's uh, go here. Upper sideband for the mode. I'll show you how the shift works. Uh, actually, the, the step. Right there, so it's flashing. Do it one more time. 28.500. That's where, that's where we're at. And let's see. There's a squelch. Shows that the squelch is working. 28.500. Upper sideband. He might. Okay, Billy, can you hear me? I can hear you. Am I centered or do I need to tune in? So I can hear you perfectly fine. Squelch up. Okay, so it works on sideband AMF. I appreciate it, Mike. And I will catch you uh, soon. And uh, thank you for the uh, check. Okay, no problem. We'll catch you. Catch any other one. Sound good. Seven three. So, as you can see, it works. Um, you're going to get the microphone. You're going to get the radio. It's got a short power connector in it, and it's got the uh, the typical T connector. And I have to see this is the only T connector I have. I have to see if I got an extra one, and uh, I'll uh, point it out in the auction if it's included or not. And I could not locate the bracket for it. I'm gonna look again, see if I got a bracket. If I do, it will be indicated in the auction. But all the auction rules will indicate what's coming with the radio with the auction. So there's no confusion. Again, Radio Shack HTX 10. 10 meters is open. Get into it. Functioning unit compared to other units that do not show you video. This one is working. Have yourself a great day.